I've always enjoyed math word problems. Try wrapping your noggin around this one. A brilliant young boy named Sheldon is about to start college. He needs to get from his linear algebra class to his physics class, which is 822 meters away. If his stride is 23 inches long and he only has 10 minutes, how many steps would he have to take per minute to make it on time? It's a doozy, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll show my work. First, we must determine the maximum velocity achievable without breaking a sweat. Sweating is for jocks and those who are worried the jig is up. Hi, Sheldon. Not now, Billy. I'm in the middle of a math problem. Okay. Darn it. What are you looking for? Chest hairs. Is there any chance I'll hit puberty in the next few weeks? Oh, God, I hope not. Why? The campus is so big, I'll never make it from one class to another without a solid dose of testosterone. Maybe they'll let you leave early so you'll have time. But the end of the class is when I point out the teacher's mistakes. Everybody loves that. I'd say run across campus, but I know how you feel about sweating. It's the urine of the skin. Why not ride your bike? I considered that, but I can't let my colleagues see me with training wheels. They'll think I'm a child. Can't have that. Mm. See any fuzz growing? Let me look. <laughs> no, no Mima, bad Mima! What do you want? I was hoping you could help me build up my leg muscles to increase my speed. If you don't want people chasing you, be less annoying. It's so I can get to my classes on time. Sheldon, you know you ain't gonna work out. I will. This is important. Fine. Here, hold these. Now keep your back straight and bend your knees like this. 